Every trainer has a choice to listen to that voice inside. Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, as you could see there, my metal torchic just evolved into a uh, metal combustion. Uh, so yeah, I've just, I guess I've just finished training up for the first gym. Uh, Cause last time it completely thrashed me. Um, they ha he has this really powerful Staravior, so yeah. Hopefully with this team we can do a little bit better. But yeah. Um, we got Combuskin now, he's gonna gain a flying weakness, but, you know, it helps to have a stronger stat base or whatever, I guess. But, yeah, we are now going to heal up. And take on the gym. I'm going to see if we need to buy any potions, because... Well, I know we do for a fact, but I want to see if we have any extra cash. Not really sure, but I'll check it out anyway. Uh, okay. Two. There, yeah, we're broke now. Uh, anything else? Antidote. All right. So, uh, first gym is a flying type gym. It's really tough. I'm not sure how tough the second gym is, but I know that this one's really quite extra northernly annoying. Uh, Leader Antony, the man with flying wings. Alright, well. Let's go, new team. Should I, okay, who should I put first? Because his first Pokemon is, I believe, Starly or something. Um, I don't know. Aha, that could get rid of his get rid of his double team effect, I guess. All right, let's just keep Delibird in first place, and here we go. Antony has returned. Oh, okay, Taylor. Ah, uh, present. <laughs> All right, this Taylor's getting pumped. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, Deli, but I don't want—I don't want it to be completely wasted here. This guy's going full competitive. Yes. Yes, okay. But will it kill? Yes, it will. 
Alright, we got rid of two, but three of yours, so what do we do now? Alright, I'll keep Deli Bird out, see if we can do some damage. Alright, that's not bad, but now I... <laughs> the crits, but now I fear... I fear for my Pokemon. Alright. They're both just gonna die, aren't they? Bag. Oh. Hmm. Uh, should I or shouldn't I? I'm gonna do it. Ah, look at that. Ah, oh, well, your time to shine, Combuskin. And you're slower. Yes, okay. Oh, I should have done Ember. That would have been great for Stab. Ah. Yes, okay, that's good. Now we have a we have a stab and a blaze activated ember. Let's see what it does. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, potion. This has to be the one. This has to be. Ember. Yes. I can't believe it. We just beat this guy. It paid off. Yes, we beat Anthony. Yes, we did. We beat Anthony. The Sky Badge, alright. <laughs> I talk in this game. I got the Sky Badge, man. Alright. That That's Aerial Ace, that's Aerial Ace. Yes, we have a move for Deli Bird now. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Uh, Aerial Ace. Oh, Combuskin 2, but this has to be a obvious choice for Deli Bird. But great job, team. Since we're so strong, we should challenge other gym leaders. By battling many trainers, we should learn many things. I can't believe we did it, though. That was... Ugh. See, Blaze can be competitive, sort of, whatever. Whoa, what a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Great, check your trainer card. Alright. Alright, so, yeah, we got seven gyms to go. Uh, I can imagine him being really multi-tough, though. Alright, first badge. Let's get out of here and heal up my team. God, that was that was amazing. All right, so I believe we go left now into the new route. No, that's not right. Oh, now we can use cuts outside of the gym. So that means we have to cut something. I'm pretty sure, but I will go on this route anyway, just just for the trainers, I guess. And berries, lots of berries. This guy's a poker fan, isn't he? This guy's a poker fan. Poker fan Miguel with Skitty. Oh, I forgot about Aerial Ace already. <laughs> Didn't even get to use Aerial Ace. Oh my gosh, my darling Pokemon! My delightful Pokemon looks sterling even when it's fainted. He reminds me of the contests. I have to give him a go. Lepa berries. This game invented like real usable berries. I love them so much. Well actually Gen 2 did, but they had weird names. And you found them in apricorn trees or something? Uh Double battle right there. Oh, that music. 
Alrighty. Next battle. Ah, plus four mining, but level five. Alright. Ooh, bubble's a double hit move. Right? Oh, look at the damage. These guys are little, little toughies, aren't they? Okay. They want to play hardball. Present on you. I'll try quick attack. There we go. Growl is going to be a problem. And paralysis. And growl. Uh, these these two are really troublesome Pokemon, but um, they have weak defense. I guess I don't know. Like they seem to survive a lot. Uh, I wish. Oh wow! <laughs> I wish Deli Bird learned moves when it levels up, but I don't think it does at all. Oh, what is this? Ah, my fishing line's all snowed up. I'm getting frustrated. I mean, that's it. Battle my man. This guy is the tentacle guy, right? Yep. Ah, Meryl. All right, Ariel Ace. <laughs> We're faster, even with paralysis. Meryl's awesome, though. I'm gonna give Combuskin some time to spread his arm wings, I guess. Double kick. Goodbye, little Meryl. Ah, Mudkip. Start a rivalry right here. <laughs> Alright. I'm still boiling mad. Girl. Wait, what? Lost Lorena. Who's that Pokemon? Yeah, I don't like you. Pelipper's awesome, though. I love that episode in the Hoenn anime where this guy has, like, the, the strongest gym ever or something. He only, he only has a Pelipper. He only has a Pelipper for a certain reason. I won't spoil it. But Pelipper is capable of stuff. Maybe even a Mega. As you can see, we need Cut to proceed with the game. So we're gonna have to catch a cutting Pokemon now. <laughs> Which sucks. Oh, I believe Oddish can have Cut, so let's get Oddish. The only problem is we can't weaken it. Oh, but yes, we can. That's the good thing about Bubble being weak, I guess. Alright, let's give it a go with Bubble. Yeah, that's, that's weak enough for sure. One more Bubble. If I have no Pokeballs, I won't be happy. Perfect, okay. We got Oddish. The weed Pokemon. Alright, let, uh, let's get back to the main town quickly. Um, now Oddish can have cut. Uh, okay. You get cut just below the city, I believe. In a little house or something. No, not there.
Where do we get cut? What, what kind of house is that? Brick house? Uh, we, I'm not sure where it is. Let's proceed this way. Ah. Yeah, there we go. We found the cutting man. Got the cut. We need to teach it to Arish. Because it would be a waste on my awesome Blaziken. I mean, come on, he already has Scratch. That's OP enough. But, um, cut. Oddish. I guess. So, Pokeballs could really be needed right now. Let's just get... Nine. Alright, let's go. Oh, if only I bought ten, we would have got a Premier Ball. Free with the Pokeball, that's alright, that's alright. Um, but... You know... Berries? I need them. I need them for berries. Things. Alright, perfect. We didn't see any wild Pokemon. Get out of the way, grass. Um, where do we go? We have to find a little cut bush now. There we go. Caterpie. Now, now, I believe this is where the story gets a bit more interesting. But at the same time, we probably have to battle trainers. Oh, okay. No one to be, not a one to be found. It's a shroomish guy. And a, 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 ugh. Hand over those papers to RD. <laughs> Royal Darkness can put those into good use. Ah, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You got to help me, please. What? You're protecting him? Shut up, kid. Expect no mercy from Royal Darkness. Royal Darkness Omega. He has an Absol. Level 14. <laughs> oh, the scratch though. Let me give you a little present for your efforts. <laughs> but seriously, Absol is a really awesome Pokemon. Delibird needs all the training he can get. He's like my not the strongest Pokemon. What? I lose to a kid? I must give chase to luminous sceneries in rental, bud. They might have stolen more important than plain papers. We'll meet again, kid. Farewell. Huh. Yes, great ball. Uh, all right. Get out the way. Yeah, there's trainers here. Miracle Seed. Just too bad we have no grass type Pokemon. Ah, there's a Pokeball there. <laughs> Okay, correction, it's a great ball there. Um, Pokeball. Ether. Ether. Whatever. This music. If you take both Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular. That is true. Metapod can... No, I won't make any Metapod jokes. Ah, oh, but Beautifly is awesome. It's my uh, favorite Hoenn book. Hmm. I can't be popular if I lose. True. 
if you have a big bug Pokemon, people respect you for it. Yeah, all the, the big Pokemon are pretty awesome. Alright, here's a cut tree, but it leads to a really freaky house. I'm not really going to go into the, into it now. Well, I will, but I'm not going to go into it. Uh, that's for a later on event. You'll see what it is for. Some Sinnoh, Sinnoh fans might like it, I think. Alright, let's battle this guy. Let's just, let's just beat this guy. This guy with his... With his blonde hair and stuff. Oh, Mudkip. So happy we got Aerial Ice. It could just do so much damage. More than present. Why can't I win? It gives me $2,000. Alright, so... This guy gives you a tear. I'm gonna pick the berries, and then I, I think I'm gonna end it there for part, uh, well, episode 3 of my Pokemon Ruby Destiny walkthrough. I hope you're, I hope you're all enjoying it so far, because I certainly am. It's gonna get much better from here. The story gets, you know, there's more story involved. We just met Team Omega Darkness, whatever. So yeah, we'll see what comes up in the next part, and uh, I'll see you all next time.
Celebi and you. Now we bring it back again for Turkle and Spoink. The Nubble and Cam Rob's rocking this joint. Love expended traffic, call and swallow it, rolls and Leah, Carbano, Torpedo, Wailer, I see ya, Wailord, and Lumise, Obi, and my noon. Everyone stay with me because the end is coming soon. Aerith, Dilly, Lalif, and Claydol. People pay attention because that's not all we got. 